Um, can you just tell me like how it's all come full circle in the new project? Yeah, you know, it did uh, it went all really rolling. You know, I studied psychology when I was 18, really in the thought that I would become a psychologist. But um, besides that, I also uh, listen a lot to good music and I think I have a pretty good hearing, so I absorb the things I listen to. Mm -hmm. And I got three years of classical training guitar and I started to sing with it and then you know, I had a really, really hard puberty, you know, to accept myself and who I was. So for me it was a bit it was a bit of a therapy, you know, to write about those kind of emotions. And now, you know, this opportunity in the US signed with Columbia Records is it's uh, not one of the smallest I think. So it's really all very exciting for me. Yeah. You never had it easy, I know. But I still remember you and the one we used to say so. This is my song for you, my friend You can only see that I Can hardly let things go, no, oh yeah You pull a lot of inspirations from Lauryn Hill and, and artists like Erica Badu. What is it about those women that you that you really love? Yeah, I don't know, but you know, it was also, especially in the beginning, you know, I, I, I still believe Lauryn Hill is, is one of the best singers in the world uh, in soul music and in hip hop and uh, all things. But um, that was the beginning. Now I listen more to electronic music, actually, you know, uh, more to dubstep. Uh, I'm really into a lot of kinds of music. But in the beginning, I don't know, those women, they, the way they sang the straw, the, the, the the sincerity of their voice is really particular and the strong lyrics and rhythmical and rhyming and, and singing as well as rapping and I think I think it's magical when, when one person does it all and I believe th those kind of women they really do it all. You've actually got the chance to open for Prince. Mm. How did that all come about? Did he contact you? Yeah, it was it was uh, it was absurd. I mean, uh, I just uh, heard it like uh, two hours before the show that he wanted me to do a support act. So I was like uh, just chilling in my bed, nothing to do. And then I stood up and I jumped in my car and then ran over to the to the venue. And it was amazing. I mean, uh, it was amazing. I mean, uh, not the playing itself, yeah, for a lot of people, uh, uh, half an hour. But after it, he came to me and he saw my whole show and he invited me to his backstage. And we talked for uh, half an hour, really intense. And he, uh, he gave me advice. He said, I can see you breathe music and uh, keep on doing it like this. You're going to get far. And, uh, and I asked him questions I want to know. Yeah, it was really, really special. Hi, this is Sela Su, and you're checking me out at theglobalgrind.com. <laughs> 